This is Daniel Larson attending UCLA. Brought to you by Larson Leak. Larson Leak is the best. All right. <clears throat> Let's go take attendance real quick. Make sure that everybody is here. All right. First off on the list. When I just call your name, say that you're here. All right. Uh, Bart Ryder. Uh, I'm here. Courtney Heck. I'm here. Daniel Larson. Here. Uh, Danny G. German. Here. Fletcher Cox. Uh, Jimmy Chu. It's pronounced Chode, yo. All right. And John Rockefeller. Here. <clears throat> All right. Thank you guys for being on time. Uh, today, I thought that something that was relevant to um, the songwriting that I had you guys do for your assignment um, was going over just some quick history regarding the first songwriters um, and the songs involving that. Um, this meeting is being policy. recorded. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get my slideshow here. This is open for you guys. I'm just going to ask if everybody can see it. Um, yes. All right. Perfect. All right. So towards the end of the class, I'm going to have everybody uh, obviously go over their lyrics with uh, what they wrote for the assignment. Um, obviously, the person who has the best lyrics Sorry, will I'm get late. a hunt. That's fine, uh, Mr. Hunter. Um, we will be going over lyrics, as I said, um, and whoever has the best lyrics will be receiving 100 extra credit points. All right. Um, an instant A plus for the assignment. Um, but regarding the first songwriters, as you guys have written songs and the first composers, right? So where did the first songs go? Where were they written, right? Well, the answer is in the Empire of Brazil 2,500 years ago, right? Music is very, very old. Um, before the dawn of time, people were making noises and tunes, but the first official song was written in Brazil, all right? Now, who was the first songwriter? Um, the first songwriter ever recorded in history was Chief Sleip Mahas. Um, chief Sleip Mahas um, was the chief of the Empire of Brazil, um, and he was the chief who brought music to the empire. And a lot of people loved a lot of his songs, but the most important song that he ever wrote was this song right here. Now, the song was never given a title because of how old the song was, okay? Um, so they didn't really put titles to music nowadays when you go on spotify right or pandora um, a lot of songs have titles right um but back in the day they didn't care for titles it wasn't important to them right so the first lyrics um to the first song ever written um it's obviously written in portuguese here because that's the language that chief slap mahas um wrote in uh, but the lyrics go, the sun is rising. I look down at my waist. There is a firm stick between my legs. It feels good to punch it, right? So he's really going into detail about his emotions in this song, right? Um, so this was the first song that was ever written. And we actually have archaeological evidence of the actual paper that he used to write this song, right? Now... Let's take a look at the structure of the first song ever written. Last week, I asked you guys to write two verses and a chorus. There's a reason why I asked you guys to write two verses and a chorus. Because one, it's the structure of a song, right? And two, it's how it's always been laid out. That has always been the foundation for songwriting, even when we see the first song ever written. It's two verses and a chorus, right? Um, so they're all interconnected in a way in their structure, right? Now, what about the first composer, uh, Sir Ruben Madeik? He was a medieval composer um, in Germany at the time. He was from Germany. Uh, this was an artist rendition of him. Um, very accurate because back in the day, a lot of people would get paintings of themselves. And archaeological evidence that we found proves that he looked very much like this. Okay? So this was the first song written by Ruben. All right? I went to the town. Actually, you know, I'll have somebody read this, actually, since I read the last one. Would anybody like to volunteer for extra credit to read um, what is on the slideshow right now? Would anybody like to volunteer? Just I would. 
Okay, for sure. Song by Ruben. I went to the town with a frown. The people laugh over me. It wasn't my fault, and I got hard. Or, yeah, I got hard. On the corner of Orphanage Street. Hey, very good. good, man. Very good. Thank you very much. Mr. Larson gets extra credit. Uh, thank you for uh, volunteering. That was very, very good. Yes, so that was the first song that was ever written by Rupert. <laughs> Hey, when was Sorry. that song written, though? Like 1500s, the song? Yes, correct. The 1500s. So now let's go over... Sorry, I still have the, the flu from Friday. It's uh, It's been going around again, everybody. So now we're going to go over the lyrics from last week, all right? So what I'm going to do is I already laid out who's going to be reading first, right? You can add a tune to it, you can sing it out loud, or you can read it with a tempo. It's really up to you. So first I have um, Mrs. Danny G and John and Mr. John B. Um, if you guys could present the lyrics that you wrote. I think um, John is going to present them for us. Okay, perfect. Sure. So yeah, we wrote this song about my uncle who passed away um, in 9-11. Um, so we got insp uh, inspired from that. And yeah, I'm just gonna I'll start us off now. Okay. I knew one day that love would sprout. Then came the day Osama blew us away. Osama blew them away. Then came the day Osama blew us away. Osama blew them away. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Very, very good. That was beautiful. Now, does anybody have any comments Damn, yeah. or suggestions? Well, you said Osama was your uncle, right? Or is that just like a fictional name for him? No, my uncle was not Osama. Osama blew uh, my uncle away. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my only um, criticism um <laughs> for the song um and um the reason why i say this is because my old music producer um that i actually work with here in denver um is a multi grammy award winner and he told me that the uh, um lyrics have to be set up like a poem but also they have to rhyme and the rhyming has to also create rhythm along with the song. And Wait. who's your producer? Um, Metro Boomin wants some more, nigga. Um, I feel like the song also started off with what I feel like should be a chorus. Um, I feel like it also needs to kind of have more imagery about what is even going on with the building and why this person got blown away. All right. Was, very good. Those were very good suggestions. And um, Daniel really started speaking about important things when it comes to a song that I haven't even covered yet. So that's very, very good. Um, obviously, um, Mr. Larson has very good knowledge when it comes to songwriting. Now, with that being said, um, the next people, the next group that we have on the list to share their lyrics will be uh, Mr. Larson and Clark Hunter. Have you two decided who will be sharing the lyrics? Um, actually, yes, Daniel will be because I am not allowed to have the lyrics on my phone for professional, personal issues. For sure. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Larson, when you're ready. Okay. Um, let me quickly pull it up here. So we don't really have a um, title for the song. Um, mm -hmm. I strictly believe that the song itself, once it's done, creates the title. Um, but, um, the lyrics for the song 
are about loneliness and um, wanting help in a situation. Um, and then we kind of created like imagery with being like traveling and being lost. Um, the lyrics go sunlight in the windows, gleaming in the air. Shadows dance around without a care. The taste of beer down my throat, ready for the open road. In the outback, time travels on. Reflection wasted how life went wrong. Savannah dunes, wind through my hair, remembering life without a care. The chorus, so hold out your hand and help me see what I truly want to be. Don't cry and enjoy the ride. To paradise we fly. High as the heavens, looking down on rivers, on a roller coaster to paradise we fly. High as the heavens, looking down on rivers, on a roller coaster ride through the sky. One eternity later. And then verse two goes With you, I feel something more greater than ever before. Show me the door to the Holy Grail. Hopefully, this doesn't fail. Shouting out love and joy, honey and wine, we can never define. Mirage camouflage reminds me of the pain. And then, of course, it goes back to the chorus. Absolutely. Very, very well done. There's a, I can notice that in your song, there's a lot of meanings that are undermined by the lyrics in a very good way. There's a lot of emotional feeling behind that song. I, I really, truly like the way you conveyed those lyrics. That was very good. Thank you. Yes, that was very good. Um, now, does anybody... They... Absolutely. That, that, is, that is an amazing... Those are some amazing lyrics. It's been a long time since I've had... Um, a pair of students who've, who've really come up with such lyrics like this. Now, does anybody have yeah. any suggestions or comments uh, regarding the song to help yeah, improve pro it? Professor, I, th I think you're glazing right now. Like me personally, <laughs> I, I, I can't relate to any of those lyrics. Like, like for real, Daniel, I think if you want to become a more better artist, you got to start talking about like bitches and money spreads and trapping and stuff like that. Cause like, I, I didn't find no inspiration from those lyrics. You gotta you gotta step your game up. I feel like you need to uh, diversify your portfolio. You feel me? I will take that into consideration. All right, and then <clears throat> now the last group um, is Courtney and Jimmy. Shake that ass for Jimmy. Yup. Shake that ass for Jimmy. Yeah. Hey, I still got some love deep inside of me. No need to lie to me. I know you got a guy. He's not a guy to me. Just say goodbye to him, then take a ride with me. I still got some love deep inside of me. Please drag it out of me. Rolly gang, Patty gang, Rich Baby Daddy gang. I'm out of Cincinnati game. Hood bitch tatter gang for she tatter name. Send it over only time she turn it back on me for real. All right, all right, very, very good. Those are some very good lyrics. Um, definitely some emotion behind that. Uh, does anybody have any comments or suggestions regarding uh the song of Jimmy and Courtney? I thought it was pretty good. Um, my only criticism is that I feel like the song, the lyrics sounded empty and over repetitive, saying the same thing over and over and over again with not enough creativity to match the other bits and pieces that were being thrown in. To put it blunt, it was boring. Hey, listen up, Clark. You over there eating shrimps with wimps. I'm eating lobster with the mobsters, all right? This is the only time I'm going to be putting game on lanes. 
All right. All right. So let's um, let's stop it there. Um, anybody that I did not name, um, um that uh, did not share already. Yes, I go Ray Charles. I cannot see her. I make her fumble. I was just in Texas with Aaliyah. Her pussy a jungle. They wanted his album to be offset, but I told them I'm coming normal. That's it. Very good. Any comments or questions regarding his right. song? I thought Thank it was you. great as well. I liked the variety of the lyrics and the imagery. I felt like it was kind of bland a little bit, and I would like a little bit more creativity as well. Okay. Thank you for your input, Daniel. Thank but you. It Scott was very, very good. Thank you for the yap session. I appreciate it. All right. Very good. Everyone has shared their lyrics. I'm very, very impressed. Um, I'm going to explain what I want you guys to do with the rest of your songs. Um, and I'm also going to announce who has won the extra credit. All right. So I've decided after hearing all of your lyrics um, and basing off that, that I've decided on an actual tie. This has only happened a few times um, within my class, but the tie that I have um, for both lyrics um, is between uh, Mr. Larson and uh, if I could find his name and Jimmy and Jimmy. Um, so that Man. is the tie that I have um, for both students. Yeah. All right, Daniel, I'll see you in a rap battle. We'll, we'll break this tie. All right. We'll go so band this is for a, band. Okay. All right. But this is how we're going to break the tie. And this, this comes into our next assignment. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to create the actual music for your song until Friday. All right. So you guys have from today until Friday to come up with a song or like a beat or a melody to the lyrics you've created. I will be awarding uh, today. Mr. Larson has received a total of 60 extra credit points today. Um, Mr. Chu has received uh, 50 extra credit points today. Um, and next week, just because that there is a tiebreaker, um, that is when I will decide between the two songs and whoever getting the extra 100 um, extra credit points. All right. Hey, last time, get my name right, Teach. It's Chode. You heard? All right. I apologize. Now, would anybody like to – does anybody have any questions regarding this? Um, My only question is where and how are we going to come up with the beat? Um, so it's really, it comes, so there's a lot of mobile applications that you can use. Um, if you have a friend who makes music, um, if you use like apps like GarageBand, I know there's a bunch of beat makers on the mobile app store that you can download. Um, realistically, any way you like. If you want to create a melody in your head and then just sing it out loud instead of making the beat yourself, um, that's fine. If you don't, if you can't make the beat, um, but yet again, there's a lot of free software and things you can use um, to add music behind what you're singing to. Um, so if you need help with that, I would consult your partner if they can help you out with that. Um, any more questions? All right, I look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. Um, yet again, it's going to be at five or three p.m. Um, Mountain Time, or if you're on the uh, West Coast, it'll be two. All right. Uh, so I thank you guys a lot, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. All right. Dose. Or is it a Chinese government official? Just curious. Um, Excuse me, Mr. Rawson, none of your business. I think yeah. he didn't like your answer. He said none of your business. He's fucking terrified. Daniel said you're being unprofessional. I believe that I am being followed. And everyone just acting up. I am leaving. Oh my god. Daniel. Please <laughs> calm down, dude. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Uh, I'm fucking dead. Fucking serious. Chopper on me, fuck a Smith and Wesson. Keep my weapon. Shoot. Heavy weapon. Shoot. 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 Chopper on me, fuck a Smith and Wesson. Huh? Keep my weapon. Heavy weapon. Book a flight to Dubai on the weekend. Huh? Bitch, I'm geeking. Bitch, I'm piped up.
tote weapon.